From turtles in space to the world's fastest and slowest reptiles, here are 17 amazing facts about turtles. Number 17. Shell Game If you think of a turtle, the first thing you probably see is the shell. That well-known physical trait is actually composed of two parts, and goes by a couple of names. The upper shell is called a carapace, and protects the critter from predators. They also have a lower shell called a plastron, to guard the underside. Bony structures called bridges serve to join the two shells together. Generally, turtle shells are made up of about 50 bones, including backbone and ribs. That makes it impossible for the reptile to crawl out of its shell, despite what you might have seen in some cartoons. Did you know that turtle shells are embedded with nerves and a blood supply? Injuring the turtle's shell might cause it to bleed and feel pain. Number 16. Toothy Turtles One thing that turtles are not known for is their teeth, and that's because they have sharp, horned beaks like birds. But while they're still in the egg, they do develop something called an egg tooth, but it's not really a tooth. It's actually a sharp structure formed out of thick skin at the animal's snout, and the critter uses it to break through its shell. After hatching, the structure is soon shed by the turtle. Number 15. Pet Turtles Turtles rank among the most popular pet choices in the world. If you're thinking of getting one of these reptiles as a pet, the Humane Society has some guidelines for you. The sale of smaller turtles with shells of 4 inches, 10 centimeters or less was prohibited in the US in 1975 to prevent the spread of salmonella. Remember that turtles are not low maintenance creatures. They need plenty of room to grow since some of these species might reach a foot in length, that's 30 centimeters. And since they can live for decades, you better be prepared for a long-term relationship of caring for the critter. Number 14. Turtle Vision did you know that turtles are visually oriented creatures? They rely on sight to identify food, other members of their species, and potential predators. Researchers also say that turtles can perceive colours, and they seem to have favourite colours like red, yellow, and orange, which they find appetising. When seeing an object in one of those shades, the turtles would check it out to see if it's edible. Number 13. Making Noise while turtles do lack vocal cords, some species are known to make some noise. They can accomplish this by forcing air from their lungs or by swallowing. The red-footed tortoise from South America will emit a clucking noise that's similar to a chicken. The giant musk turtle from Central America is said to yelp like a dog when it's under attack. Male Travancore tortoises from Southeast Asia can generate a high-pitched mechanical sound to attract mates. And the female leatherback sea turtle is known to make a noise that's said to be similar to the sound of a human belching. Number 12. Shell Shock Like the turtles themselves, their shells can be found in a variety of shapes and colours. While the heavy, formidable shell of the tortoise is iconic, it also creates a burden for the critter, causing it to trudge slowly across land. But other species like the soft-shell turtles have carapaces that are characterised by the lack of horny scutes or scales. While they have a bony layer underneath, the carapace is flexible and leathery, especially at the edges. A softer, lighter shell means the animals can move faster, whether in the water or on land. Number 11. Tiniest Turtle The leatherback sea turtle is the world's largest living turtle. So what's the world's smallest extent turtle? That would be the speckled tortoise. The carapace of a male measures a little over 3 inches, 7.5 centimetres in length. Females grow larger with a carapace length of about 4 inches or 10 centimetres. Weighing less than 6 ounces, these reptiles are identified by a flattened shell that has serrated edges with a speckled orange-brown coloration. They're native to a small, arid region of western South Africa. Number 10. Straight back and sideways. Turtles have two ways of retracting their heads into their shells, and according to the method used, they've been divided into two groups. The species that pull their heads straight back into their shells are identified as Cryptodira, some examples would be the Aldebra giant tortoise and snapping turtles. The other way turtles can retract their heads is by bending the neck horizontally, pulling the head back to occupy a space by one of the front legs. These creatures are identified as Pleuridera, and more commonly called side neck turtles. A great example of these critters would be the Mata Mata turtle. Number 9. Living Long Lives Tortoises, of course, are known for having a long lifespan, thanks in great part to their slow metabolisms. 
But did you know they also have an extremely long existence as well? Experts say that turtles have been around for some 220 million years, and that makes them one of the most ancient groups of reptiles, including snakes and crocodilians. And some turtles living today were around during the time of the dinosaurs. African side-necked turtles belong to a freshwater family that initially appeared around 120 million years ago. In the oceans, green sea turtles are among the oldest living members of a lineage that dates back around 55 million years. Number 8. Skunk Turtles The smelly nickname refers to some turtle species like the stink pot turtle native to North America. It's named for its ability to release a foul stench from scent glands located on its shell. The odour is likely a defence mechanism against predators. More ghastly perhaps is the eastern long-necked turtle native to Australia. This silent but deadly creature has musk glands that produce a stench that is often described as a mix of rotten cabbage and raw sewage. No wonder why us Aussies often refer to it as the stinker. Number 7. Fastest Turtles That title almost sounds like an oxymoron, doesn't it? But despite their reputation for lethargy, some turtles can move at super speeds. Well, as far as turtles are concerned, anyway. We mentioned earlier that the leatherback sea turtle is the world's largest turtle, and weighing upwards of 2,000 pounds, 907 kilos, they're the world's fourth largest reptile overall. But did you know they're also the world's fastest reptiles? In the water, they've been clocked at speeds approaching 22 miles per hour or 35 k's per hour. Number 6. Slowest Turtles Just as the leatherback turtle is regarded as the world's fastest reptile, the world's slowest reptile is also a turtle. The Galapagos giant tortoise has been clocked at speeds, quote unquote, of about 0.2 miles per hour on land. That's 0.3 k's per hour. To be fair, some male specimens have been documented to travel some 13 kilometers, 8 miles in only 2 days during mating season. Pretty impressive given the sheer size of these beasts. Number 5. Tough Enough How tough can turtles be? Here's a story that helps answer the question. In 2016, a woman was shell-shocked when a turtle crashed through her car's windshield as she was driving along a Florida highway. Police officers said a vehicle in front had run over the animal, which shot it airborne and rocketed it into the woman's windshield. The reptile actually landed on her dashboard after bouncing off the passenger seat. Luckily, both human and reptile emerged unharmed from the freak encounter. The driver was treated for minor cuts, while the turtle was placed in a pond where it swam away. Proof that turtles might even be tougher than they look. Number 4. Spaced Out Would you have guessed that some of the first Earthlings to reach the moon were tortoises? In 1968, the Soviet Union launched an unmanned spaceship named Zond 5. That vehicle became the second vehicle to reach the moon and circle about it. Along with the reptiles, other life forms including flies and mealworms went along for the ride. When the module was recovered after re-entry, all the passengers were still alive and unharmed. One difference noted by scientists was that the turtles had lost about 10% of their body weight, but they still remained active. Number 3. Old Timer while there have been many tortoises claimed to have lived as long as a quarter of a century or more, a lot of those accounts are still unverified. But there is one creature that was officially documented to reach the ripe old age of 188 years. That was a female tortoise named Tui Malila. As tradition has it, Captain James Cook gave her as a gift to the royal family of Tonga in 1777, the year she was hatched. The radiated tortoise from Madagascar stayed with the family until her death in 1965. Today, her remains are preserved in Tonga's royal palace. Number 2. Time-Tested Turtles We told you about the tough turtle that crashed through the car windshield, but if you need even more proof regarding the durability of these critters, consider this. They managed to survive the KT Global Extinction Event, which eradicated around 90% of animal and plant life that existed on land. That included land-dwelling turtles as well. Experts say that those turtles which lived in lakes and streams were protected against the forces that killed off the dinosaurs and land plants. Their very slow metabolisms required little in the way of expanding energy. So they, along with certain other burrowing and water-living animals, were able to survive on the few resources left after the extinction event. That's one theory anyway. What's yours? Number 1. T-Words 
Turtle, tortoise and terrapin are all terms that are often interchanged when talking about these animals. But those words all refer to reptiles that belong to the order of testudines. The significance of the three terms often varies according to the form of English being used. For example, in North America, the word turtle can refer to a water-dwelling species or to the order as a whole. Tortoise typically refers to those larger animals that dwell on land and don't swim. And terrapin usually refers to the smaller semi-aquatic critters, some of which can live on land. Many sources say it's easier to just refer to all species of testudines as turtles, regardless of if they live on land or in the sea. Actually, the best term for turtles might be colonian. It refers to a suborder that takes into account all turtles, whether they're living or extinct. Thanks so much for watching. For more, don't forget to subscribe here on Epic Wildlife and click that bell for notifications when we next upload.